My name is Justin Brown with the Sacramento Police Department. I'm a sergeant, and this is my journey to the badge. Can't believe I've been here almost 20 years. It's been a long time. Uh, currently, I'm a sergeant with the Sacramento Police Department. I supervise our school resource unit, and that right now, I uh, supervise at least three officers uh, that police 77 schools and provide safety and security for those schools. So as a sergeant for the school district, uh, my direct job is to work in partnership as a liaison between the school district and the Sacramento Police Department. So I coordinate uh, safety and security for the campuses. Uh, I advise uh, the liaison with the school district and that's our safe schools director. And we oversee about 77 campuses, 46,000 students and about 10,000 staff. So it's really, really busy. Throughout my law enforcement career, uh, over the past 20 years, I've been in positions to be the difference and make a huge difference in the lives of many different folks that I've come across in the community. One in particular was when I was a mentor uh, for a program within the city. Um, I would go to a continuation high school and simply meet with a kid who just was down on his luck, uh, dad and locked up in prison. Uh, mom on drugs, had a brother that was not really in trouble, but sort of looking to him as, a, as an example. And he was in trouble himself, fighting, uh, got kicked out of a, a primary high school. And my, I volunteered to go to this uh, continuation high school and meet with this kid and just simply have lunch with him, have these key conversations with him that, and make an attempt to sort of influence the guy and, to, and going in the right direction. Law enforcement was not in my mind as an option uh, for a career. I did not choose law enforcement, law enforcement chose me. And it chose me in the form of a guy that I met, you know, at where I was working at the time. My name is Sam Davis and I was a police officer with the Sacramento Police Department for 28 years. I was working for a grocery industry and I had been working there about five to six years. And I started my way from the bottom grocery industry, a really popular one. There was one particular time in my career that I was living in the in the Rancho Cordova area and I would shop at Albertsons. And um, it's just something that I would do a couple of days a week, a few days a week. And um, I got an opportunity to meet this young man that was working in the daily area. I was, work, I was going to school, working hard, really positive. You know, I would walk up to him. He's an African-American young man very uh, very smart, spoke very intelligent. And that was one of the first things that I noticed. And I would uh, order food, pick up food from him, and go pay for it, and I'm, and I'm out of the store. But every time I would do that, I would learn more and more about this young man when he was working. Uh, we had something in common. We both uh, enjoyed the service deli that I worked next to. So there was a service deli right next to the bakery. Sam would come over to the service deli and ask for a box of chicken, along with four rolls and some potato salad. And this guy would come into the store, order it, and I liked his personality so much I would make it fresh for him because he had such a positive attitude and he would just engage me in conversation. And I'm the type of guy that likes to have a good conversation. And so I would have it hot and ready for him, even though I did not work in the service deli. One particular time I came in, I asked him, what did he plan on doing for a career? And I was just kind of wondering what that answer was gonna be. And, and basically he says he was, in, he was in college and he didn't really know what he wanted to do. I was sort of lost in where I wanted to go career-wise. I was a bio major, I was attending Sac State. Um, thought I wanted to be a dentist, thought I wanted to work in an office, but something inside me said that there's a bigger calling for you. Um, I asked him had he ever thought about a career in law enforcement? And he paused, hesitated for a second. And his answer was, of course, no. So it was a, somewhere around that time I began to talk to him about what I did in my career and that I was a, a patrol officer with the Sacramento Police Department and basically asked him if he would uh, be interested. He introduced the idea of getting into law enforcement and he said he was a police officer and I, and I looked at him and he was 10 years on at the time. Now he's retired, but he was a 10 year vet at the time. And I, and I said to myself, something I'd never thought of. Um, and then 
you know, a little bit of doubt started to set in, you know, as I answered those questions. He gave me a little bit of time to think about it. And I began to think about outside circumstances like, well, what are my friends going to think? What is my family going to think? Uh, can I do it? Can I go through a police academy? I have asthma. Can I make it through a police academy? Just by how he spoke and the fact that he was a college student, and we kind of talked about some other things on the side, just kind of gibbering back and forth. But you kind of got to understand that this young man could probably do a good job if this is a field that he was interested in. And I began to uh, want this calling of being a police officer. It necessarily was not my calling to be a police officer, but it was my calling to serve. Once I made a decision uh, that law enforcement was going to be my calling or the direction I should go, um, Sam ended up coming back in the store again, hooked him up with another box of chicken, and he brought in an application, and he said, this is how you get started. And basically, Sam Davis, from then, held my hand, he walked me through the process. He filled out the application, I hand carried the application to where it needed to go because as time passed, I started to realize that this young man was serious about this opportunity and I was going to do everything I possibly could. I'm, I'm very proud to see Justin these days and just knowing the journey that he had and how it started. And, you know, I'm a firm believer is, you know, nothing is coincidental. My name is Justin Brown, police sergeant with the Sacramento Police Department, and this was my journey to the badge.